Thank you. Okay, uh, hello everyone. My name is Juan Sebastián Sierra Bravo. I am a master student from the Universidad Tecnológica de Bolívar, a university in the city of Cartagena, Colombia, which is located in the northern Colombia. I am part of the group of applied physics and image processing, and, and today I will tell you I will tell you about our most recent research called coordinate endothelium assessment in spectral microscopy images with a Fox dystrophy and via deep learning. The human corneal endothelium is responsible for maintaining the corneal transparency and its proper hydration, both critical for good vision. The cornea is the first lens of the eye and uh, it is composed by six layers, being the endothelium, the innermost layer. The corneal endothelium can be imaged in vivo with spectral microscopy. The resulting images can be analyzed to obtain clinical information by quantifying the, uh, the cells and the morphometry. And uh, here there is an example of the of one spectral microscopy image uh, where each uh, hexagon here uh, are cells. And uh, this quantification of the morphometry parameter, parameters uh, is especially challenging in the presence of corneal diseases such as Fox dystrophy, which is one of the most common corneal diseases. In the spectral microscopy, it appears like dark regions, like the one shown here, uh, which is produced due, due to the accumulation of collagen uh, produced by abnormal endothelial cells. Um, so uh, to analyze the corneal endothelium manually is a cumbersome and time-consuming task. Uh, for this reason, computer vision techniques are, are often used to carry out this corneal endothelium cell segmentation task. However, uh, these methods are not immediately applicable in corneal endothelium images with Fox dystrophy. Uh, for this reason, other authors have studied the corneal endothelium morphometry in both normal and dystrophic corneas. But uh, these methods uh, require many manually segmented images and more than one deep learning model, complex post processing, heuristics, and even manual interve intervention to obtain accurate results. So uh, we cast uh, the problem of cornea endothelium health evaluation as a supervised regression. Given an input spectral microscopy image, um, a CNN based on the, on the unit architecture is trained uh, to predict a signed, signed distance map. Uh, the network is then intended to predict Euclidean distances between the center and the edge of cells or buta. Here there is an example of the input uh, my, uh, of, the, of the, the, the network and uh, its corresponding output. Here in this distance map, in this signed distance map, is, uh, each uh, pixel with a positive value correspond to cells and the negative values correspond to Buddha. Um, the corneal endothelium images uh, used in this uh, research uh, were acquired using a Topcom SP3000P spectral microscope. Here uh, it is an example of the of the uh, of a spectral microscopy image. Uh, then a manual uh, process uh, was made to annotate each uh, segment, each uh, image uh, to segment manually uh, the cells and the guta. Here in this example. The green color corresponds uh, to cells and uh, the violet color uh, corresponds to disease uh, regions. In this research, we used a set of 90 images of both healthy and diseased corneas acquired in 66 patients, which were manually annotated. The microscope image uh, and the segmentation were split into 96 by 96 pixels image patches to generate the training and validation datasets. The final number of sub-images was 148, and each of these samples uh, contains the corneal endothelium image, the cells mask, and the guta mask. Uh, a distance transform is then applied to each resulting mask. In this diagram, I, I show you the, the process uh, to generate ground truths 
to train the network. Uh, first, we have the input coin and Ethereum image. Then a manual annotation process is made to obtain the cells mask and the Guta mask. A distance uh, transformation is applied to obtain uh, the, these distance maps. Then a, a simple subtraction operation is used to obtain the final signed distance map, which is the output of, of the network. Each uh, coronal endothelium image is uh, preprocessed and normalized between minus one and one with the, with the tan edge function and simple data augmentation operation were used to avoid overfitting in the model. About the architecture, uh, we implemented a five-layer unit-based model uh, to predict a signed uh, distance map from an input coronal endothelium image. The main uh, differences uh, between the, the commonly used uh, unit and this uh, our, and our method is that we use a liquid relu as activation function uh, followed by instance normalization in each convolution block uh, which are the these uh, yellow uh, blocks. We added a ResNet block in the downmost layer here uh, with a uh, green color. And uh, in the last layer, linear activation was used uh, to obtain the final signed distance map. This network was implemented using the Python-based uh, Keras library with a TensorFlow backend and the track 2.0. Uh, then for uh, a thresholding and watershed transform are used as post-processing to obtain the final segmentation which is uh, like the one shown here. So uh, before we talk about the results, uh, it is important uh, to know the main morphometric parameters to assess the corneal theorem health, which are uh, cell density, uh, which indicates uh, the number of cells per unit area uh, the main cell area, hexagonality, uh, which is also called pleomorphism, and it represents the percentage of hexagonal cells. And finally, the coefficient of variation of cell area, uh, which is also called polymegatism. We also report a new parameter uh, that may provide a complementary corneal endothelium assessment, uh, where we call it a uh, cutae uh, area ratio which corresponds to the percentage of the segmented area affected by Guta. Here, uh, well, now I will, uh, I will show you our results. Uh, here, there are two examples of, of different health conditions. Uh, overall, uh, well, uh, here in the first column, we have the corneal endothelium image. Uh, then uh, in the second column, uh, we have the Topcom software uh, segmentation. Uh, then we have our reference, uh, which were the, the manually annotated segmentations. And finally, we have the unit DM, which is the old proposed method, uh, which DM means uh, distance maps. So uh, in overall, all three segmentation in the two examples are very similar. Uh, one of the most important details uh, is that the Topcom software here uh, misclassified this small uh, Guta as cell, uh, and this was corrected uh, and well classified in the reference and by the by our model. The performance of the Topcom software decreases in more severe corneal diseases, like this, uh, like in these two examples. The Topcon software uh, classifies these large regions as, as cells, uh, producing an overestimation in parameters like mean cell area and altering uh, any other estimation that depends on the cell area. Even in these, uh, even in these problematic images, uh, the proposed D, uh, unit DM uh, shows, uh, performs uh, quite well uh, segmented all segmenting almost all cells and guta in the region in a region of interest. Here uh, uh, there are uh, some bland Altman plots. Uh, this kind of, of plot help us uh, to assess the agreement between two measurements. 
In this case, uh, we evaluated the in the left side uh, the agreement between the Topcon software and the reference estimations in the fold uh, in the fold mentioned uh, cell morphometric parameters. And in the right side, uh, we evaluate the agreement between the proposed method and the reference. In the vertical axis of each plot, we um, we have the difference between the between the measures. And in the horizontal axis, axis, we have the average measure. The most important thing uh, to, uh, to keep in mind to keep in mind is that the lower uh, the vertical dispersion is, uh, the higher the, the agreement is. So uh, here we can see uh, that there is a notable difference uh, between the two plots uh, in the in the left and in the right. Uh, which means that our method is uh, our proposed proposed method is much closer to the reference than the top one so far. Uh, the coefficient of variation uh, plot has the same behavior as uh, say uh, below in the last uh, slide, uh, but uh, parameters like hexagonality, uh, which doesn't depend on the cell sizes. Uh, the plots uh, are quite similar. To conclude, uh, our results show, show, show that uh, this method works sufficiently well producing an accurate segmentation of touching cells that requires minimal post-processing. Future work involves a further validation of, on a larger data set exploring the impact of pre-processing uh, pre strategies like illumination correction and the use of these methods in the clinical setting. Uh, if the topic was of your interest, uh, you can see more details in our recently accepted manuscript. And uh, also the, the, there is a, a publicly available uh, code repository where you can, you can see the, all the code used in this work. Uh, uh, this research was uh, partially funded by the Universidad Tecnológica de Bolívar uh, and the uh, Ministerio de Ciencia, Tecnología e Innovación.